Here, the statue outside of an Albany restaurant got knocked down and smashed with the suspect caught on tape. Well, this week, as he was arrested and charged, the restaurant owner revealed the fixed statue. News 10 ABC's Anthony Kralikowski spoke with the owner of Villa de Como about the meaning behind the sculpture. In April, one of these statues that decorates the restaurant's entryway was shattered. In a month's time of hard work, owner Elise Selleck was able to rebuild the goddess with five pieces. I'm excited <coughs> to share the glass with my statues. Albany police officers arrived to the scene after a report of vandalism came in, which was caught on security cameras last month. As police looked for the suspect, Selleck worked with a team of artisans to reassemble the statue. To us, it felt like forever because we were not happy. After completing the statue's restoration, Selleck answered a call from Albany police. And uh, it's very ironic. We finished around Tuesday night. We closed the doors and APD called us and told us that they made an arrest. 37-year-old Jordan Michael was arrested on May 3rd and charged with second-degree criminal mischief. Before was damaged, the statue was estimated to be worth $6,500. The piece is sculpted as an Italian goddess that represents the hospitality and warmth of Italian culture. Uh, we took it as this was a uh, attack on the great neighborhood we're in, historic neighborhood, entire city, all communities. While celebrating the restoration of the statue, Selleck is looking to sell his restaurant and bar. He says he wants more time to focus on his family and his other business, and it's not related to the vandalism. However, my boys are growing. I want to see them playing soccer on the weekends. So I am looking for a farm to uh, move my farm distillery license and focus on uh, manufacturing. While the Selleck family is looking for a potential buyer, they say they will still be serving great Italian meals. Everybody knows restaurants are very tough to sell. So to all my guests that have uh, dined in with us, we're not going anywhere until we sell our properties. Both statues are still on display, welcoming in guests with Italian hospitality. Reporting in Albany, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.